Hello everyone and welcome to this tutorial. Um, as you can see we are once again back in the platforming tutorial project. And uh, what we are going to be making in this episode is a wave controller. Or probably a wave controller because you shouldn't say N when it's not... Uh, I don't know what that letter is called. But you shouldn't say N with it if it's a wave controller. But whatever, let's call it OVD underscore wave control. And uh, what this, of course, is going to control is the waves. Because we need the enemies to spawn in waves. Because that's how we want the game to work. So that you have to kill all the enemies and the new ones spawn. So, um, let's just create the wave control. And um, in the create event, we're going to set the variable wave equals to zero. And the variable, let's just say, uh, enemies uh, equals to zero. And these two variables are going to be used to make the waves. Um, the wave is of course going to be which wave you're currently in, and the enemies are going to be how many enemies that are left. So, um, yeah. What we're going to uh, do under the state event of this object is we're constantly going to test if enemies are less than 1, then it's going to say wave plus plus. And it's also going to set a, a user, I think it's called event underscore user, yes, zero. And the user events are pretty much custom events you can call at any time, and they um, pretty much just run a piece of code. So our user event one under this object, you find them under other, and then user define, and then zero. And this one is pretty much going to be the wave change. So uh, this is going to be whenever you change wave. And you know what? I'm just going to keep the wave plus plus under this event too. And this can be pretty nice to for organizing and stuff like that. So um, what we're going to do under here is we're going to say wave plus plus first of all. Then we're going to say um, enemies equals to um, wave times two, let's just make it like that, so there will always be double the enemies of the wave number, so in wave one there are going to be two enemies, in wave two there are going to be four, etc. So yeah, and uh, then let's say make a for loop, and the for loop is pretty much going to be the loop that creates the enemies. So uh, for i equals to uh, zero, and the i is pretty much just going to be our temporary variable we use in the for loop. And we're going to start by setting this to zero. And the for loop is constantly going to be run as long as i is less than enemies. And um, then we also have to say i plus plus. This is pretty much just every time the loop is run, we are also going to add one to i. And that way it's at some point going to be higher than enemies. And therefore it's not going to be run anymore. Otherwise the loop is just going to be infinite. And I just notice that when you make a for loop, you have to use semicolons. I think we have used for loops before, but I'm not really sure, so I'm just going to tell you that again. Um, and uh, under this for loop, we're just going to say, yeah, well, first of all, we're going to figure out where these two positions are, because we, of course, want the enemies to be created here. And this is 0, 16. You can see it down at, at the bottom of the screen down here, where it says x. You can see this is uh, 16 x and 0 and y. And this is 592 in x and 0 in y. So let's start by saying instance create uh, 16 comma 0 comma obj enemy. And uh, we also wanted to have a chance to appear in the other hole. So um, that was 592. So we are going to use a choose statement. and. Uh, comma 592 and what this pretty much does is that the game randomizes the waves and uh, creates some of the enemies in the one hole and some of them in the other one so uh, the enemies are going to be placed randomly and uh, now this seems pretty fine already so this should technically work but what we also need to do is in here say enemies equals to instance count uh, no instance number, I mean, it's just that I mix them up a lot, <laughs> and then obj underscore enemy. 
and uh, this pretty much just makes sure that the enemy variable is constantly synchronized with the instance number of the enemies and I'm sorry that someone constantly uh, goes into a game on Steam and alerts me so just ignore that. <laughs> uh, but this constantly pretty much synchronizes the variable enemies with the number of enemies in the room. So now we can set in the wave control and we can remove all the enemies and I just by accident remove some of the top of the room. I'm just going to put that back. So now let's test this out. It will probably not work because <laughs> yeah and you should not Okay, it seems like it maybe works. Okay, we have one enemy right here. And now we have two enemies. And I killed... Why do I hit... Okay, we have to make a better hitbox, I can see. Why does it take so much time to kill, all of a sudden? I thought the enemies worked, okay. For some reason the enemies are not killable without killing myself, I don't know why. Okay, that one worked. But I'm just quickly going to fix the code while you kill the enemies because that seems like it's rather glitchy. So what we're going to go under object player and all the way down to right here. Because I there's some way better code for doing this. And uh, well first of all we have to remove this completely and change this to uh, how wide did I okay. Change this to collision rectangle. And once again it's going to be X coming y, but this time it's also going to be x. Oh wait a second, no, it's going to be x minus let's say six and x plus six because in this way we are going to have a way big uh, place below us where we can hit the enemies. We are going to have a rectangle instead of just a line. And uh, maybe I should set this to ten just to be sure that it's going to be easy to jump on the enemies because that really shouldn't be the biggest challenge. And maybe also like set this to twelve. Yeah, and now we of course also have to put this down here. So I think this might work a bit better now with the entire enemy killing thing. Um, let's just try killing this cute little enemy right here. Uh, yeah, I killed him. Do the enemies have lives or what? No, I don't know. I don't know why. Oh, it's of course because it cre- Oh, I know what's wrong. It's because it of course creates the enemies all at once. And as all the enemies fall at the same time, they will appear on top of each other. So uh, what we need to do right here is instead of doing this for loop uh, oh wait a second yeah we can still do the for loop but we just have to create them in different way y placements or whatever so um, you know what I think we probably need to just remove all this because then they won't be created on top of each other if we just completely randomize it so what we're going to do is we're going to say random underscore range instead because now it can be created anywhere uh, where between 16 and 592 meaning that there will, they probably won't appear on top of each other and therefore glitch out so yeah now you can see now it works way better yeah this makes way more sense now and uh, the jumping works too yeah so the waves pretty much work now and there will of course be infinite waves but I also think we need to add some score and a wave counter. So we are going to add those two things right in this episode, I think. I'm just going to check how long it is. Um, eight minutes, okay. Uh, to be completely, uh, what should I call it? To be completely honest, I think we should end up the episode right here because otherwise it's just going to become too long. So thanks a lot for watching guys and uh, I will go ahead and record the next episode right now. So yeah, the waves work, oh, wait a second. No, it's a bit glitchy, I can see. Okay, we just have to change some stuff here at the collision. Because the problem is that when you walk into them, the rectangle hits before you hit them. Because obviously it uh, is right below you, so it still counts as, hit as hitting them. So what I'm just going to do here is just plus two. And that way you can't hit them by just walking into them. So now it should work, now you aren't invincible anymore. Um. Let's just try walking into this guy. Oh, it still doesn't work for some reason. I really don't know why it doesn't work. Yeah. Let's say plus five. Because now the... Yeah, or maybe like... 
how big is the sprite? I wonder. Uh, it's okay. So yeah, so plus ten that should work. Uh, plus ten and plus ten. I think that this might work now because now the rectangle should be drawn down in the floor. So now I shouldn't be able to just no, I'm not able to do that anymore. So there we go. Now it works. It works nicely and amazingly. So thanks a lot for watching guys and see you in the next video. Bye bye.